Welcome folks to Let's Play Rage of Mages. This is an, uh, an action RPG with RTS elements as in uh, using troops. And uh, yeah, let's go ahead and create a new game. This is a fantastic game, I love it. You've arrived on a personal order by the Emperor of Kania, Valor IV. Your mission is detailed in these documents. Put your signature here. Alright, so this is the party selection screen. Uh, you can only select your first character. By the way, we're gonna play on normal, medium, because hard, I tried on hard, but um, it's really swearing. I mean, I'd rather play nice and easy. Not easy, but you know what I mean. Smooth. Okay, we can choose between a male fighter, a female fighter, a female mage, and a male mage. Now, depending on which character you choose, you will encounter the other characters in a different fashion. For instance, if I pick Danat, I will meet Reniesta. If I pick Naira, I will meet Fergat, and vice versa. So, the starter character determines a little bit of plot twist later, later on, but nothing that much, uh, nothing great. So, let's go ahead and pick Danat, because in these games, they were made for young people, so we want to be the warrior. Let's go ahead. Also, by the way, if you pick the archer, you can change their starting stats. You know? Anyway, let's go ahead and pick Danat. As you can see, we have body, agility, mind, and spirit. Now, the spirit. Agility is what determines your speed and defense. And also some of uh, the weapon speeds. Uh, body determines the damage you do with weapon and their HPs. Mind determines how fast you learn your skills and spirits determine your magic resistance. Now let's go ahead and, uh, and let's do a reset. So we're gonna start with 25 in each point, in each stat. You definitely need body. I'm gonna go with the 200 sword uh, fighter. As you can see, my HPs are growing, and so is my damage. 9 to 14. Now, if I go higher, it requires 10 points. You can only reach 42. But if I lower my spirit and lower my mind, I can go for, for 3 body, which brings me to from uh, 9 to 14 to 10 to 16. Now, this is 2 points of damage more, but is it really worth it? I'm really slow, so I definitely do not want that. I've got, um, let's see, if I go from 41, 42, yeah, each point really brings up my attack, which is a good thing. What I want to do is 35 agility, that's a nice compromise. I can even go higher and go like 36. The rest can go into mind. Maybe a couple of points in spirit. So this is, to me, the perfect bid for your warrior. 40 body, 36 agility, 25 mind, and 17 spirit. Now, if you don't care about raising your skills high, you can drop mind and you can go for spirit. Okay? There's no reason you shouldn't do that. You reduce 13% damage from, uh, from magical damage. Let's go ahead. I'm gonna pick the sword. We've got sword, ace, axes, maces, spears, and bows. I'm gonna start with the sword because it's the best weapon ever. Axes are very powerful, but their speed is determined by their weight. Thus, you can completely ignore agility. So you can go 43 body and 15 agility. It's fine. Maces are cheap, and that's about it. Spears are very fast and they give you defense bonuses and uh, bows are for hitting flying targets nothing else about it and it's the only weapon that can actually hit flying targets we'll get one soon enough and I feel like this is more like a secondary weapon so I'm gonna go with the sword
fortune gives you a chance to do what any soldier dreams of, to accomplish a great feat for the good of your motherland. Remember this in your travels. Good luck. What a weird way to begin our mission. I don't see my companions anywhere. It seems that I was teleported here alone. Not to worry though, one is still a warrior in the Allods. Indeed. Ready. So we start here. This is the area of the teleport. Uh, this is our character. We've got a hard leather mail and some leather boots. We've got uh, an iron short sword that deals 5 to 8 points of damage and plus 5 attack. Also we've got a, a very annoying music. Okay, I just don't want the music to overshadow my voice, the soothing sound of my voice. So this is our screen, character screen, and uh, yeah, the story, also this is the inventory, we've got a hundred gold pieces and some documents. You can read the story here, it's a little bit of a wall of text, it's a long wall of text. This is the summary, we have to determine the reasons for the isolation of Uimoar, to determine the principles of the new weapon, to supply the command of the Canyon Empire army with the obtained data in Schlagerland. The possible sources of information are marked on the map. The town of Plagat, the capital of the of the Allod, and the tower of Rakle Wimoar, the residency of Great Mage Sh Sharakan. So, yeah, we are here to find out a new weapon and why Wimoar is uh, not responding in isolated. All right. So, by the way, the Karagan Empire is the enemy of the Canyon Empire. So, we are at war with the Karagan. We are Understood. mercenaries working for the Canyon. So, let's pick up this bag. Hmm. This must be one of my friend's belongings. Maybe. They are a little further ahead. Maybe. So, what we found here is a bronze two-handed sword from 6 to 11, attack 3. So technically we gain from 1 to 3 points of damage, but we lose 2 attack points. Now since we're playing on normal, this is not much of okay. a big deal. Let's follow the road. Oh, we're getting ambushed. Hello. <coughs> you have not been cordial enough, my friends. Indeed, hmm. they are now dead. So we found the leather boots and a club. Hmm. Excellent. Understood. Now, in this game, you really want to explore everything, as in everything, as you can see. Ah, some bees. Nasty ah. looking bees. And there's a bag over there. If we click on hmm. it, the character will find its way to the bag. I don't want to do that right now. What I want to do is keep exploring, because in this game you need to explore every nook and cranny because the developers were wise enough to put, to put loot in, uh, in every part of the map, like that. Understood. Now let's go to the... let's follow the road. I, I believe there's a house here. Right. Hello, kind woman. May I ask for your advice, please? I happened to lose myself in the forest and then was attacked by robbers. I'm trying to get to the city of Plagat, but I don't know the way. Hey stranger, sure I'll help you, but I have a favor to ask of you as well. The bandits that attacked you used to live in this house. They rod all passerby on this road and forced me to serve as their witch. Yeah, sure. Now that they are dead, I can finally go back to my village. It's not far from Pagat and lies on your way. The only trouble is that I don't know the way myself. When the bandits led me to this house, they blindfolded me. All I know is that the path through the swamps is a long and dangerous one. It would be my pleasure to guide you through the swamps to your village. Let's go. Yeah, indeed. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. From zero to zero and two points of attack. Wow, that's some. Yes. That's some incredible damage, don't you think? Let's keep going. Right. Okay. Okay. So what have we got here? More bees. <laughs> Interesting. Let's keep on keeping on. Yes. Right. Ooh, we can now pick up hmm. this bag. Interesting. And we... A strange island indeed. One does not find such things lying around in Kanya. Yes. We found a mage lowat. Incredible. We cannot use that because it's a mage item. In case you want to play with the mages, the mages are very powerful. 
in both games, actually in all the games. Okay, if these are what the bees look like, I wonder what the birds look like around here. Yeah, you they're like dragons, me. you know? Indeed, so... Nival, uh, I think it was Nival Entertainment. Or Nival Island, I don't know, I think it's Nival Entertainment. Squirrels such as these will soon learn that I am not as easy to defeat as a nut is to crack. Oh boy, the one-liners. Right, so... The guys who made this game made actually a sequel and another game which is completely disconnected okay. from this game but uh, it's more like a stealth commando fantasy genre so it's like a fantasy commando yes though it's still based on the same lore so you have like the allods different islands and um it works pretty much okay. the same except that you have more crafting you can create your own spells like you can have a fireball that shoots two you bullets so you have a double fireball and that's great for instance you can put runes into your base spells basically okay, we actually we actually reach the city okay so this is the village the the witch was talking about. Okay. We don't want to go there initially. We want to go through this bridge. Yes. Okay. So we want to deal with these quarrels and Understood. then explore a little bit of the. Yes. Hello there. You can accept most anything from the squirrels, but one thing remains true: they live in the woods and not in the swamps. It means that we've got out. Understood. Ah, indeed, we've got out. We already knew that. Right, so let's keep exploring uh, this way. Oh, some bees. Hello, bees. Understood. Now, one thing you should be doing is killing everybody okay. because they give you experience, and uh, you need experience in this game, as more than you think. Yes. Well, this is medium, so I probably don't need that much experience. You can count on me. But we're still gonna get everything. For completion's sake, by the way. Right, so. Oh, we can get the bag we saw at the beginning of the level. And there's also a bee. Alright, let's pick up this uh this bag. Right, okay. we found a bronze small shield. It gives me 10 defense and 1 absorption. So basically the way this game handles damage is defense is your chance of being hit and absorption is the damage you the flat damage you will reduce from enemy attacks. So I could technically mm, You can count on me. Switch to sword and shield. That would be actually a good idea. Because now we can employ the other hand. We have now 28 defense. Yes. And in here, yes. we are facing spirits. Now, my damage might not be stellar, but. As you can see, the enemy is not. Too bad, I have never believed in spirits. Yeah, sure. You can count on so me. the enemy w was not able to take us down. Hmm. What's in here? Iron scale gauntlets. Ooh, Understood. Interesting. Anything else here? No. Okay, I think it's time for us to move. Uh -huh. And actually, we need to move you, like, here. Right. You are going there. Ready. Uh, to be honest, I really prefer if you actually use the 200 sword for now I'm not sure I have a feeling that I mean sword and shield is the best absolute best way to play a fighter but right now okay. we can definitely afford to, to use that here's my village thank you for your help if it weren't for you I would have ended up somewhere in the swamp I'm not wealthy but I want to repay you somehow take this potion 
It will help you to heal your wounds. If you want to get into town, go see Merchant Sarindal. He's hiring a spirited man to guard his caravan right now. He doesn't pay much, but you'll be in Plagat before long. Thank you, kind woman. It was a pleasure to have met you. Indeed, it was not. She gave us three potions of health regeneration, which doubles our health regeneration. They are not directly healing ourselves, it just makes it faster to heal from resting. Okay, I think we've actually managed to complete the level. You can count on me. Alright. Let's save. LP number one. Just be just because the game might actually crash. Okay. I'm using the X Win. Good afternoon, are you Merchant Sarindar? Yes I am. And who are you? What are you doing in our village? I'd like you to hire me. To guard your caravan, that is. I need to get to the town of Plagat and I hear you need protection from bandits. <laughs> I don't pay much, you know. But nobody will offer a stranger like you more. If the money suits you, welcome aboard, my friend. The money does indeed suit me. Victory. Right. Listen to me closely. The well trodden path is likely to be the most dangerous. What I try to do is to outwit the bandits by finding an alternate route to where I need to go. You understand, don't you? I need to get to Plagat alive and with my belongings intact. Indeed, you did. Yes. Y you do. Okay, so when I said this game was an RTS, it yes. is because you can yes, actually commander. use yes, commander. more units. Ready. You can make groups, you yes, got commander. a footman. You will find knights, you will find mages, archers, yes. but for now we're gonna stop right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and save and call it a day. So, thank you for watching and the next time we're gonna go and complete this map. Not in one zoom, but you get what I'm trying to say, right? That said, I'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching, bye bye.